Hi, I'm Chloe, and this is my brother Cal. We are going to make our own telegraph. Telegrams are very different to the types of messages you may be familiar with. You're not sending voice or text messages like you do on a phone. You're sending electric signals, either short signals, debt, or long signals, DAW. In the 1840s, Samuel Morse and Alfred Vail developed Morse code out of D's and DAWs to be used for their telegraphic system. Combinations of short and long signals represented letters in the alphabet. When grouped together, these letters spell out words and phrases. For a telegraph system to work, you need both a transmitting end and a receiving end. Connecting the two ends, you need a wire or cable. On the transmitting end, attach a battery to a telegraph key or Morse key. The telegraph key has this bar that is held by a spring on one end and a switch on the other. When I press down on the bar, the switch completes a circuit loop with a battery creating an electric current. Here is where I can control how long or short the signal is. If I press down briefly and let the spring retract the bar, it only sends a short electric signal. If I hold down the bar longer, the electric signal is longer. The signal is carried by the cable all the way from the transmitting end to the receiving end. Cables used to stretch all across the country and even stretched under the Atlantic Ocean to Europe, connecting more people to each other and promoting trade. We are using a Morse key, but you can also make your own key using some simple materials. An index card, a hole punch, a paper clip, and metal brads. Punch two holes in the card about an inch apart. Place one brad through each hole and fold the prong so it stays in place. Clip one wire coming from your battery to the first brad. Clip one wire coming from the light bulb to the other brad. Next, unfold a paper clip to make your key. When you touch the paper clip to the brad, you have completed the circuit and can begin sending messages. Today we will be using a light bulb for the receiving end. We will need someone watching the light bulb and writing down the signals. Using Morse code, these signals can be decoded back into letters. Looking at this Morse code chart, I'm going to send a message. See if you can follow along. Eventually, new technology like telephones would match the speed of the telegraph for long-distance communication. And while telegrams were faster than mailing letters, they eventually had difficulty keeping up with mail's lower prices. 